this is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. What up? This is DC Channel Guns. Come to another gun video. Appreciate you watching. Like, share, and subscribe. So I want to appreciate all my subscribers. I want to appreciate all the good information. Appreciate y'all for coming to the video. Appreciate all the support and love. And like I said before, we're going to keep up the fight. We're always going to keep fighting for your Second Amendment 24-7 over here. Because guess what? The opposition doesn't stop. They work 24-7 to pretty much infringe on your second amendment. So that's what we're doing over here. We got a big election, we need to get out and vote. Now right now, I've been doing a lot of hard work, um, you know, digging up more information. You know, I'm trying to get out of the headlines and find other things that need to be brought to light. Give people food for thought. Now, I'm the type of person, I'm out of the box, especially when it comes to our second amendment and stuff like that. It's a lot of things that, you know, a lot of people is not talking about. So I try to bring some new things to the surface and everything because a lot of people keep digging on top of the surface just digging the same in the same spot we need to go to a new spot and start digging when it comes to our second amendment and that's what i'm doing i'm digging in another spot now right now the atf been having a budget problem now for a long time the atf has been pretty much um you know their budget um has not been very great and you know a lot of people has been trying to help to get the atf budget up and that's why I'm going to surprise you with some of this information that I got. I'm going to surprise you with that because it's interesting. Everything that I've been bringing out, these are the small bits and pieces that I'm going to put all together. So, you know, it's just like, you know, we're working on some type of investigation. That's pretty much what we're doing because the ATF came out against the honey badger and, you know, all of a sudden wanting to criminalize millions of gun owners and stuff. And, you know, and like I said before, I don't care when they sent this cease desist letter to to Q and everything and when it comes to this um, honey badger and everything a lot of people's talking about but it's more to it you know because like I said before I told my that is pretty much some bait that they threw out there and you had a lot of people jump on some of that bait but it's more to it now behind the scenes the ATF got a budget problem and I'm gonna probably reveal some things that a lot of people probably ain't told you or you don't know about and you know it's a lot of people with a whole lot of different perspectives but we can't cover all of that. But I'm trying I'm to get to my point and what I'm trying to tell you about the ATF and the budget and all this kind of stuff. Now, right now, the ATF is a smaller agency compared to most. They got like 700 and some employees and stuff in the agency. And, you know, the agency is going through some things right now. Um, some of the information I've been looking at is that the agency is, is trying to stop duplicating work that they've been doing that you can have you know, local law enforcement and, and other um, enforcement agencies to be doing. So they don't want to be duplicating the same thing. Now, they should be focused more on regulating, regulating firearm products and stuff like that. And, you know, that, you know, what I was just talking about, the honey badger, you know, the arm braces and stuff. And, you know, a lot of people's talking about the NFA, this tax stamp, $200 tax stamp and everything. Uh, to my, could that be a reason why the ATF is pretty much you know, making a lot of noise and stuff, trying to, you know, um, create, you know, all these million, million gun owners to, you know, buy this to, you know, get the $200 tax stamp for SBR and stuff. I'm talking about, it could be just throwing out this for food for, for um, thoughts, people. I'm talking about nothing is written in stone what I'm saying, but I'm trying to get you to look at some other things that could be going on so we can really find out what's really going on behind the scenes when it comes to the ATL. And one thing that I have found out, you have anti-gun advocates who's been pretty much pushing to increase the budget when it comes to the ATL so they can get out and regulate the farm industry, regulate your gun manufacturers and stuff. People think about what I'm telling you. And, you know, so to my, it's very interesting that a lot of the organization that we've been talking about who want to take care of guns and fringe on your second amendment has been working with the ATF to increase their budget. Now, increasing the ATL budget don't mean they can just go out there and start enforcing these things. But what some of the gun organization want is them to play a vital role when it comes to gun violence in this country. And see, that is something that I keep telling people, don't underestimate the word gun violence because there they have many of it's moving many parts. It's, move, it's a lot of moving pieces with this gun violence thing, because for what I'm reading is that, you know, the ATL is going to be playing a bigger role when it comes to gun violence in this country. Because, you know, they're trying to pretty much, you know, that is their job to, you know, to regulate 
the firearms and stuff, the firearm products and everything. And so they're saying that they want to increase their budget and everything so they can regulate the gun manufacturer. Think about it, people. Think about it. You know, Joe Biden, you know, and Kamala Harris, you know, first thing they said is that, you know, they want the ATF to pretty much go out and regulate, you know, the gun industry and stuff like that. Smart guns and all this kind of stuff that they've been talking about. So I'm putting all this stuff together to tell you people that it's something huge behind the scenes. And we're going to begin and I'm going to be dropping more you know, the giblets and everything when it comes to the ATF and everything. But everything that you're hearing and seeing that the ATF is doing is something bigger behind that. I'm talking about it's bigger because, like I said before, you have some of the Obama administration that's into in the ATF right now. And, you know, with all the polls showing Biden and up and everything, think about it, people. Think about what's going on. I'm telling you, think about what's going on because, like I said before, all the, the, the things that we're seeing, they're in cahoots together. And, you know, with the ATF, like I said before, they're being pushed. They're being pushed by the agenda to do something about gun violence that you've been seeing in all these major cities and everything. So it's forcing their hand and everything, because like I read before, that they're saying that the ATF has a vital and crucial role to ending gun violence, stopping gun violence in this country. And so, like I said, they're trying to increase the ATF this um, the agency in the ATF increased the employees and the staff so they can have enough people to cover and, you know, and, and do whatever they're supposed to be doing when it comes to regulating the gun, the gun industry and stuff. So I just want to give you food for thought to think about that, people, because it's interesting. I got some more information. I want to put too much out there and everything be coming with other parts and stuff to it and put the puzzle together. And then you'll start to get where I'm coming from and everything. But, you know, this this channel guns. And I catch you on the next one. This is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.